Hi, I'm Saginaw, Michigan's Uber Airbrush Expert, Uber Spoonie G. Today, I present you a video of me custom designing my own baker's jacket. I've decided that if I was going to be the Uber Expert of cakes, that I needed to present myself in a professional manner in keeping with food safety standards. I noticed when doing my research that others doing cakes, artistic or not, were not exercising consideration of safe food handling. I feel that pretty important in designing edible food products. So right now, I'm going to show you a video of myself airbrushing a baker's jacket, one that I'll wear when airbrushing cakes. I'm going to start out by laying the background first. Start laying out designs in a succession of colors that you're familiar with. Everyone's not familiar with the same kind of colors, but basically light to dark. I'm going to do my little logo on the back, and I'm going to have like a little ocean scenery here with maybe some buildings I'm not sure on here. I'm going to go for the horizon right off the top so that i got a nice little structure to follow. So, start adding a little bit more color in here. part of the uberification of painting where I like to layer in colors in the same color family right next to each other to give it a little bit more depth. And while I got the color out, let's flip her over to the other side. And work a little bit on the pocket part of the of the baker's jacket here. The very jacket that I'll be wearing while I'm doing a cake design. If you caught earlier. A neat kind of body kind of pattern to follow. A little tricky for airbrushing. Let's get that water line in right off the top. I think I'm going to do the same kind of design on the front. A little bit of modification. Hold those edges out so we don't get a little bleed through there. Okay. Okay. Well, I am, believe it or not, the front is really cooking good, so I'm going to do a little bit of blasting here to just get her tightened right up nicely for me. Let's get my little basic logo that I'm going to be having for my little venture as a cake artist on here. I cut my own stencils as I've said before in other videos. So I have no problem with the kind of designs I want. I'm basically a freehand airbrush artist is my basic style, but using a little stencil work definitely does not hurt. Okay. Let's remove the front stencil. And as I said, I'm mostly a freehand airbrush artist, but I do use stencil to add a little tightness and a little depth to a design. I do work within the design of a stencil to bring out the fullness of it. Let's finish up the back. The back of the bakery jacket for when I am airbrushing bakery cakes. Now I just got one stencil for the back. And I'm going to pump that on there. And pop in a little bit of the little lettering. Let's see. I want to make sure we got that letter in the right spot.
finishing touches to this. Got the lettering in. And a little bit of highlights on them. Got that uber detail, that wave, those clouds, those stars. Uberfied. Let's take a look at the front. Logo's looking nice. Ready to go. I'm Uber Airbrush Experts, Uber Spoonie G. Check me out at uberairbrushcakes.com. Take it easy.